Good afternoon to everybody. First of all, uh, what I wanted to do is to apologize for the um, technical problems that I've had uh, with recording. And uh, so I know that both the sound and the, um, the images are not that, um, not that clear. So uh, we hope to sort it out by, um, by next week. Um, in this parasha, we learn about the way that the Jewish people went to a special type of war. Why do I say a special type of war? Because there's basically two types of uh, wars. There's wars which are in self-defense, and then there's a war which uh, the Jewish people, uh, there's a mitzvah to engage it, and that is the kibush of Eretz Yisrael, the conquest of Eretz Yisrael. So um, here we had a third type of war, uh, let's call it a spiritual type of war, where the Jewish people were instructed to go and to wage war against the Midianites, who caused spiritual and physical harm to the Jewish people by inciting them to Avodah Zarah. Uh, one of the very um, other spiritual features of this war was that Hashem said that you're not allowed to sell, send everybody to do this war. It's enough to send uh, 1,000 for each single tribe. As the, as the Torah says, Elef Lamate, Elef Lamate, 1,000 Lamate means to every single tribe. It's similar to what happened in the case of Amalek, that there also it was a more spiritual type of war, and therefore also um, there were various people who were chosen, people who had Yirat Shemayim, they were chosen to go out and to fight. So um, the, the, the Midrash says that actually when the Torah uses this phrase, Elef Lemate, Elef Lemate, so there actually were 24,000 soldiers, because it says, a thousand and a thousand. The one thousand were um, were the simple meaning is they were ordinary soldiers, soldiers who were involved, as we say, is kravi. They were fighting soldiers. What were the other thousand soldiers, which uh, the midrash also alludes to? There were a thousand soldiers who accompanied the first group and davened for them. So it came out that every single soldier had like a chabruta who uh, davened on his behalf. Now, there's a very famous um, uh, sikha that Rav Chaim Shmulevitz, the Rosh Hashiva of Mir, um, said in the Mechemet, during the time of Mechemet Yom Kippurim in Mir, and it was printed in the Sefer Zikaron, in a book in his honor, this sikha was, uh, was recorded. And in it, Rav Chaim said a very important principle. He was speaking to, um, to the yeshiva, and also to the Bnei Chutzlaret who were here in Mir at the time, and they, the Chutzlaret students said, you know what, they, what can they do over here? They can't, um, they're not fighting force, they're not um, Israeli citizens, so they wanted to go back to America and to Daven in America for the situation over here. And on that, Rab Chaim's ire was kindled, and he said that it's impossible to do such a thing. And he quoted this Midrash that we're now speaking about, Elef Lemate, Elef Lemate. He says, and he made a simple point, you have to say that the thousand soldiers, that let's call them the davening soldiers, the davening soldiers that they accompany the fighting soldiers to the battlefield. Because if not so, you didn't have to say a thousand and a thousand. You just had to say a thousand which were the fighting and all the others uh, could daven the entire, in fact, the whole Jewish people could daven uh, for, for the, the soldiers who went out. Why does it have to limit the, the soldier, the, the daveners to 1,000 for each single tribe? So it's clear, said Rab Chaim, that the thousand soldiers who davened accompanied the actual fighting soldiers to the battlefield. I mean, they might not have been exactly in the front line, but they were, they were close, close enough to hear the screams and to witness, uh, um, um, to witness the sounds and the wounded and the fighting and the smoke and the explosions. That's where they davened. So that's what the Torah is saying. You need Elef Lemate, 1,000 of the fighting soldiers, and another 1,000 who are sincere davenings, and, but they have to go and accompany the soldiers. And when they see what's going on, so then, uh, um, so then they can daven properly. The Prime used to say, therefore he said to the, to the people who are thinking of going back to America, the time of Yom Kippurim or, or to Britain or so everywhere, wherever it was, he's saying you can't do that. 
You cannot daven when you are far away. You have to be, you, if you want to empathize, empathize and you want to feel of what's going on, what you have to do is you have to be close by. You have to be able to look at the, to hear the radio. You have to hear people coming back for, for Shabbatot. You have to see what's going on in the streets. You have to be aware and close by in order to feel that empathy. And that's what we learned. We learned over here this great principle that when we daven, it's not enough to daven at home. When there's a crisis in Israel, we have to open the newspaper, open the radio, look at the television, speak to our friends, speak to people who are in the army. And only in that way can our davening really be sincere. Shabbat shalom lekula.